I was wondering what you thought about one of my cases, uh, First Essex Bank Heist. Yes, I read that one. They got robbed the day before their grand opening. I never solved that one. That bothered me for 20 years. But I see that you wrote a note here that says, contractor did it, comma, so obvious. Oh, what? Well, you know us millennials, we're always exaggerating. But what I think happened there is, is that I was reading that file and I noticed that the contractor, Russo, was the um, obvious. obvious suspect. But only in the sense that he was the only one who could have possibly done it because he had the blueprint. I talked to Russo. He had an alibi. Of course, of course. But you know, the name of the company was Russo and Sons, so I figure probably, maybe, definitely the Sons did it. Maybe, probably, for sure. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Just had a real eye-opening conversation with your dad. I wanted his approval, but he says I'll never be good enough for you. What the hell? I know, right? Tell him he's wrong. No, I'm upset with you. That's right, go get him, Tiger. I'm also upset with you. What is this, 1950? I can't date someone unless I have my father's approval. Oh, obviously, you can- You guys act like this is your decision to make. Like, the woman doesn't even exist in this equation. Well, this woman? Wait, Amy, shut up. Excuse me? I mean, I'm so sorry. You were making a totally valid point about gender equality, but I just thought of something really important, so I'm gonna hang up on you. Okay, love you, bye. It wasn't Russo or his sons. It, it was, was the daughter! daughter! Well, 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 he finally did it. Died horribly? Escaped. Just like he said he would all those years ago. I'll be coming back for you. I'm just like Disco, baby. I will never die. True, Disco will never die, but you will. All right, the state police is deploying 30 men and four helicopters to comb the area of the accident. I felt comfortable saying this Disco man has danced his last disco dance. Sir, it's fun to see you breaking out the old lingo, but do you think you're jumping the gun? All the evidence points to the strangler being dead. Not all the evidence. Right, the random piece of thread you think is a yo-yo string. It is a yo-yo string, the most dangerous part of the yo-yo. It just feels like you're trying to relive your glory days. Absurd. Well, what do you have in that box over there? Well, memories and keepsakes of my greatest cases. Mm -hmm. To remind me of the Strangler's M.O. He always seduced an accomplice into doing his fiendish bidding. I bet it was the van driver. You mean the woman who was thrown violently from the vehicle and just barely survived? Yeah, I'm sure she was very badly injured. Sorry if my voice is raspy. They just took the breathing tube out. But they left a BS in? Good God. Whoa. So, Miss Park, it says in my file that you drove Mr. Zumowski on multiple occasions. Yes, because he had to go to the hospital a lot. He was very, very old. She's clearly been seduced. She has? Let's cut the crap. You helped him escape. You planted a cadaver in the back, you flipped the van on purpose, then the strangler set it on fire and sprinkled some of his hair nearby so there'd be a DNA match. Then he left behind his calling card, this yo-yo string. That's not a yo-yo string. What? That's part of the lanyard we give to the older inmates when they become fall risks. You're lying. You've succumbed to his groovy voodoo. Sir, I don't think she's lying. Look at this photo from the file. Oh, my goodness. So, this string is just a string. The DNA was really a match. The disco strangler is actually dead. And that chapter of my life is forever closed. Well, that's... Fantastic news. Sir, you haven't come out of your office in a while. How you doing? Terrible. You were right. I was trying to relive my glory years. But the fact remains, they are behind me. My only nemesis now? Father Time. Come on, sir. That's ridiculous. You're on the cutting edge. In fact, you're so progressive, they were scared to make you police commissioner. You're as modern as they come. What is that noise? It's my fax machine. Oh, Captain. <gasps> Sowie, I'm young. What is it? It's an aerial photograph from one of the helicopters I had deployed. Take a gander, boys. It's him, the Disco Strangler. Oh, my God, you were right. Of course I was. I know him better than anyone. We're two sides of the same coin. Oh, you've told us this story many times. And you'll hear it again. The only thing those bullies have over you is that you never solved that case. So why don't we solve it together? How are we going to do that? We'll sneak into the 6-5, steal that old case file, and work it until we find your burglar. Then we march back into that precinct. And we grind these kittens up and shove them down their throat. Yes! Don't listen to him. You're a part of something much bigger than yourselves. What up, Jake? Why are these dicks out of their cage? I stayed up all night working on your case, and Hans, John, and Nakatomi made for great company. I gave them all diehard names. I don't understand why you waste another night on a case no one's ever gonna solve. Sarge, I am way too sleep deprived to deal with your negativity right now. Let me show you what I did. 
I started off by making a map of all of the burglaries that have gone down in Brooklyn since 1996 to see if there was a pattern. That led me to this. There is so much crime in New York. No one should live here. Anyways, I tripped out on that for a couple hours, but I got cheered up after I took a picture of the kitties messing around in my little hoodie. I'll show it to you later. So basically, you wasted a whole night. No, 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 my friend. No, no, no. Because then I dove back into your file and found this. Who? Cool. The low point in my entire life. Sarge, this photo was taken in 1996. You told me your guy broke his spine two years before that, so 94. Check out his sneakers. 95 Jordans. They came out a year after the accident. Look at the soles. They're all muddy. Which means... That son of a bitch can walk! Bingo! Hey there. Remember me? So, this is weird. Oh, no, you don't surf the strand! I knew it! You could walk the whole time! I was right about the cat of too, huh? Now, where's the cat? Been 20 years, Sarge. Cat's probably dead. I'm still bringing him in! Kablamo, Scrubs. I nailed it. I solved Captain Holt's brain teaser and found the location of our secret meeting. The answer? The broom closet in your face. In whose face now? Yours. Gina and I have been here 20 minutes. Though my presence is not puzzle-related, I just followed Terry into a dark closet. Hey. You solved the puzzle before me. Nerds. <sighs> they solved it first. They're the nerds. I'm cool like you. Wait, where's Captain Holt? Where's Amy? Yeah, she should be the first one here. Doesn't she go to, like, an adult puzzle camp every summer? Yes, but please don't bring that up. I've been throwing out her mailers. Guys, if those two aren't here, I'm thinking we must be in the wrong place. No, trust me, we're definitely in the right place. I'm 100% sure about this. Oh, guess who solved the puzzle? Who? We did. Oh, we did? Yeah, we're in the wrong place. I told you not to lie! What were you thinking? I thought it would work. And I wanted to be the one that got him. Is this about your ego? Are you that desperate for everyone to know how great you are? It's not about everyone, OK? It's just, I wanted you to know. Oh, my god. I got it. He's not answering any questions. That's OK. I have no questions. That's right. I'm about to monologue, son. You better make it quick. You only got eight minutes. All right, then let me paint you a picture. I'm Philip, a successful periodontist that's become addicted to diazepam, a sedative I take because I'm junky scum. Also, for real, addiction is a disease I would be super empathetic if you hadn't murdered a man. What is the point of this? I'll get there. So one day, I'm working late when my boss, Robert, surprises me. He found out I was stealing meds. Again, junky scum. Also, again, not your fault. There's a major genetic component to addiction. He says he's going to file a police report. I could lose my license. We fight, and something in me just snaps. So I grab the first thing I can find, and I hit him with it. You still have no murder weapon. I do now. Here's a pic I found on Yelp of the surgical suite six months ago, and here's a shot that our crime scene photographer took of the same room two weeks after the murder. Notice any differences? We're not answering that. That's all right. I can just tell you myself. The Yelp shot has six of these heavy-looking glass awards from the Brooklyn Periodontic Society in the background, whereas this shot only has five. What happened to number six? You murdered Robert with it. I did. You lost all control, and you bludgeoned him to death. There must have been blood everywhere, but you got lucky. You were in the surgical suite. It can be sterilized. You never would have gotten away with it in your carpeted office. That's not what happened. Don't say anything. More and your office manager would have heard all of the screaming, but she was at her grandson's play. Lucky again. You're wrong. You put Robert's body into a wheelchair and shoved it in the elevator. It's a miracle there wasn't blood everywhere. That's not true. Now you're in the garage with a corpse. You panicked and left your phone in your office, and you don't have your car keys, but Robert's are in his pocket, so you put him in his car and you take off. No. You can't believe what you've done. No. Philip. You're flustered. You have no GPS, so you just start driving. No. Philip. Next thing you know, you're in the Pine Barrens and it hits you. Your uncle's cabin. He has a place there. You're the luckiest son of it a bitch. It wasn't luck. Yes, it was. You got lucky at every turn. No, I knew exactly where I was driving. I left my phone in the office on purpose. I was in a surgical suite by design, and I didn't use some glass award that any idiot would clearly see was missing. I made a rod out of a special dental polymer, killed him with it, then melted it back down. It's already in a patient's mouth, son. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And that is three oh dams. Oh, damn!